then there is her youngster and that youngster was no more than one foot from the vehicle it was just astounding wonderful wonderful sighting anyway we're just watching them in the light here and we're not going to put a light on them so if it does get a bit dark sorry about that but we don't want to give them a, a fright So I'll just allow the final control to tell me when you can't see them anymore. On my monitor they look okay. And there's quite a there's quite a pregnant cow there. That's a very pregnant cow. See how fat her belly is? And you notice noticeably fatter than the cow that we were looking at, the older one with her withered tusks. Yeah, she's definitely pregnant. Very difficult times for her trying to get enough to eat. These elephants are starting to wear it as a result of this drought. And unfortunately, you know, that little bit of rain we had, although it's created a green sheen of grass, it's not going to do much for the elephants. It's not long enough for them to eat really, so they can't get a huge amount of bulk or nutrition from that tiny little or very short carpet of green that is now covering Juma. Very subtle colours of the winter you can see there. The bronze and the grey, a bit of gold and dots of green. Just listen for a second as they feed. All we can hear is a few Franklins calling in the background. One or two babblers. But it's really, we're into the changing of the guard now. The first owls will start to call, maybe a nightjar. But I think there's a front coming in. I think it's going to be quite chilly tonight. Last of the crested Franklins. They're all getting in on the act now. It's like the sort of um, fairly unskilled brass section in an orchestra. Just everybody blowing on their brass instruments at once. Stunning. So peaceful to watch elephants, especially in this kind of light. This is my favorite part of the day, I think. Just after the sun's gone down. There really is a real sense of peace. There's another elephant, another few elephant behind us. Those ones have gone a little bit further away. So what I'm gonna do is roll back and swing the wheel. And with any luck, we will be able to see them nicely. No, oh, it's not swinging. It is revving rather high, which is disturbing as well. There we go. A whole lot more coming behind us. Now they, of course, will have to feed for most of the night, especially the bigger ones. The little ones will lie down at some stage and go to sleep for a few hours at a time. The other thing I must just say, because we're down in a bit of a dip here and going down towards a depression, and the air is therefore hanging in this area, we can smell these elephants. And they smell like sweet leather. just a little bit nervous being left behind, tail out.